we're in um, Burbank National Park at the moment. We're just in the swamp forest. Um, we've walked along the boardwalk into the forest. So the peat is pretty deep here. Um, I think it's five meters. So as you go into the forest, the peat starts to dome, forms a natural dome here. So here we've got we've got quite a lot of peat. It's good deep peat here. Here we have here we have the peat. It's essentially uh, organic matter that hasn't been able to decompose because here we can see the water table is so high. Now oxygen can't get in, so basically that means that this organic matter builds up, builds up. It becomes, let's say, super concentrated. It holds so so much carbon. What we want to know is what happens if we drain this peat, take it out of its natural context. What's what's going on? So, for me, I'm looking at methane and nitrous oxide. Now methane. It holds 300 times more heat than, than carbon dioxide. So we need to find out what processes are happening to create these, these fluxes. And my other plot is um, a palm oil plot. Now, initially the palm oil plot would have been this. It was, it's on peat, on deep peat, the same. Um, and it's been deforested. Now to grow uh, palm oil, they've had to drain the peat. Now, I want to understand if this process is affecting production of nitrous oxide and methane. Um, and when you change a habitat, different animals move in, different, you know, it, you get a, diff, a whole different biodiversity. So I want to know how this, how this affects gas flux. So here, this is, this is my baseline. This is, this is uh, the original, let's say. Nitrous oxide is um, basically composed of nitrogen, but um, they apply fertilizer in palm oil. Now, you take you take away you take away all the uh, water. You apply more nitrogen. Now, is is this a reason that more greenhouse gases can be given off from palm oil? This is one of my sample plots. I'm just putting on the hood. Now what that's doing is, over half an hour, if I can get it on, in half an hour, the gases from the peat are going to accumulate inside here. So every 10 minutes, I'm going to take samples from this plot. So I'm attaching the vial. This vial's actually vacuumed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a vacuum inside this bit because it's full of air and then take samples. Now at the moment it's just atmospheric, uh, the atmospheric sample. So I'll make sure we're all closed. On my barometer I can check if I have evacuated it. Yeah I have. So I'm going to let some of the chamber gas in. Just draw some out. Now this basically flushes through the tubes, so if I do take any sample, it's there. Now I'm going to re-evacuate my tubes, so I create a vacuum which draws the gas into my vial. So now I open this, I open this, release the gas into the vial, I close this now, I close my vial. And that's my first sample taken. I will come back in 10 minutes and do exactly the same again up until half an hour. Um, this, this gas sample now, it will be put through um, a GC in our lab at Jambi. Now, what that's uh, going to measure is methane and nitrous oxide. Um, the concentrations in the air, parts per million. And also from that, we can work out how much gas is emitted per meter squared. And then we can scale it up to hectares as well. This is really good because then with a given area, we can take averages from this data and we'll also match it to um, data that's already been collected. And we can, we can see if we can see, compare, contrast, see what's going on 
and try to look at what's going on in the uh, in the peat. So here we've got um, a piezo. Now what this is is basically a two meter pipe that's driven into the ground. Now the water table inside will be able to measure how high it is. This is important because I want to find out how the water table level affects the gas fluxes. So we're just in um, the older palm oil uh, plantation. We're heading to the C4 plot. We're now in C4's little research plot. Um, in the palm oil plantations at SMP uh, near Jambi. The palms here are seven years old now, they're just coming up to seven years old. Um, they're on peat. So what we've got here is um, we've got about three or four rows of these palms um, and each of us has got a different, a different um, research schedule set up. Um, large scale, this palm, this palm oil plantation is, is vast. Um, the area of peat that it's on is vast. Now, if this process scaled up is happening um, across the tropics, you know, on a global scale, this is actually going to have a really big impact on global warming.